So I showed a, another really simple way to, some tips on breaking the closed guard and a lower position like the staggered hand grips. And um, our friend here said that he's having a lot of trouble doing it. And his question is, he's wondering if he needs to, A, just pick a different technique to use to break the guard open. And then he says, you know, or maybe just spend more time executing that particular technique. And then he's wondering, because he said, as the coach said that after class, he said, in a non-tournament setting, don't feel pressure to pass the guard, you know, especially if you're feeling worried about doing so. And he's wondering if I agree with that. So, uh, this question from John Doolittle, so let's get into it real fast. I'm going to give you some ideas, John, on breaking the guard, okay? So first off, change your mindset about, because in the message that you posted, you spoke very aggressively, like, I'm going to pass the guard and... Um, I'm, you know, I'm doing this, that sort of thing, right? And the problem with that is, is in the position that you're in, you're not in a good position, right? Because of the positioning of the hips, we're actually in the defensive position here. So if we were to flip this upside down, this is mount, right? So you saying that I'm gonna pass the guard when you're inside someone's locked full guard is like saying, I'm gonna sweep from the bottom of the mount. I can't sweep yet. I have to get my hips back into position, right? So likewise, when we're here, think about this position as if you were escaping, right? You maybe even change the verbiage in your own head, say, I'm escaping this person's guard. Because almost all the submission options, except for a tiny few, are gonna be in his corner, okay? Um, the big thing that I want you to focus on, because I've, I suffered uh, a lot from this problem, because what I would do is I would get in here, and I would try to break the guard too fast, I would get broken down, and then I would become frustrated and frustrated. And eventually I would stop going for the stuff that I knew I needed to do and I would leave opportunities for the person to sweep or submit me. So you can try whatever guard break you want to, right? There's tons of stuff out there, but I want you to think about this. First thing, break grips. If he grabs a sleeve grip, I need to be constantly fighting these grips a number of different ways. There's lots of different ways to do it, okay? He, if he grabs a collar grip, I need to break the collar grip before I do anything else, okay? So fight grips constantly in this position. Stay very relaxed, okay? Remember, you're not in a good position. Just take your time, fight these grips off. Work on keeping your posture up. Next, when you do break, or when you do get to posture and you're getting ready to, you know, break the guard open, let's say that you get to the position, you're here, and it's almost broken. You can feel it, the person breaks your posture down. Boom. Do not get frustrated. This is where guys mess up. They almost had it and then it slips out of their fingers and instead of just coming back up, they start to get really angry, frustrated and that's when you make your mistake. So instead, just say, all right, reset elbows in, work back in and we'll come right back to the position. We'll keep doing this over and over again because again, this is the exact same in my mind. If you flip it upside down, right? Maybe, you know, we almost, we did the upas game. We almost had him over and then he posts, right? I'm not, I have to come back to the center here, reset, and then set everything up again. Because if I get frustrated in the mount and then I do something stupid like push up on the chest, you're getting arm barred. So John, again, you can go back to the video um, and I'll link it somewhere down below in the, the description for you guys. Take that technique and use it. It works fine, right? Again, it's obviously it's your ability to execute it against that person's ability to defend it. So you, again, you just might take a little bit more practice, but change your mindset. Do not think of you passing the guard, because again, until you break the guard open, you're not passing anything. So instead, start by thinking about the guard as a bad position when you're on top, and think of it as more of you escaping the guard position first, okay? So that means fight grips, be very cautious where you put your hands, everything else, and take your time in the position. Wait for the right opportunity, just like you would from a mount escape, and then when you go, you go, you make it happen. But, hope that helps.